Welcome back to the Open Lathe project, everybody. Today we are going to work on the chuck mounts. Uh, by now you should be familiar with the process of laying out your holes, um, scribing your lines, and uh, punching your holes uh, to prepare for uh, drilling. Use the link provided below for layout dimensions and hole sizing. Make sure to use a countersink to deburr all your holes prior to mounting your chucks. After you get your mounting plate all cleaned up, it's time to attach it to the tailstock. Insert the nuts into the 8020 extrusion and attach the mount as we have with other components of the lathe. Use a skinny tool like a hex wrench or a small screwdriver to align the nuts with the holes. Insert the bolts into the holes and just get finger tight. We're still going to need to adjust this once it's mounted. Once everything's mounted and finger tight, use the end of your dial caliper to set the depth from the end of the extrusion. I go for about an inch, but this is going to be personal preference. You don't want the chuck mounted too far back though. You don't want flame impingement from the torch interfering with the aluminum extrusion. Tighten all the bolts down, and then check your work. You want to make sure this is straight and square. If you're satisfied with your work, go ahead and tighten those bolts down all the way. Place the chuck assembly on top of the mounting plate. We're going to be using 5 16 by 1 and half inch bolts to attach the chuck to the mounting plate. We're also going to be using a washer and a lock washer for every bolt. The bolt holes are open on one side of the chuck assembly, so there's nothing to hold the bolt in there. Place a finger on top of the bolt while you add the washer, lock washer, and nut. Repeat this step for each of the holes. Now that all the bolts are in, it's time to tighten them down. I find it best to use an open end wrench as opposed to just an adjustable crescent wrench. Uh, I feel like the crescent wrenches are a little bulky for what's needed here. Uh, the first one can be a little tricky to get in there. Like I said earlier, the bolt wants to move around in that hole because it's not constrained on that one end. The first one might be a little tricky. Just get it tight and move on to the next one. You may have to loosen things up and, and go back again if the bolt slides out. Work your way around the chuck assembly, tightening all the bolts. You may need to go back and forth a little bit to get it right. Repeat this step for the headstock. Alignment of the chucks will be covered in another video. Thanks for watching.